So the first pose is Cobra Pose or Bhujang Asan. Lie down flat on your tummy, bring your hands next to your shoulders and now inhale and take your upper body up. Keep on breathing, hold that position for some time, make sure you're not straining your neck. Now exhale and come back to the same position from where we started. You can do two to three repeats of all these exercises and once you'll get used to them, you can go ahead with five repetition of each exercises. Now the next posture is bridge pose so Setu Bandha Asana, lie down flat on your back, bring your feet close to your hip, hold your heels with your hand and now take your hip up as much as you can. Bring your chin close to your chest and keep on breathing normally. Stay there for some time and then relax and bring your hip down. Repeat this posture two to three times. Again go up, bring your chin close to your chest, relax and come back to the original position. Now the next pose is camel pose or atrasana, sit in vajrasan. Now Come on your knees, put your palm behind just above your hip on your back. Extend your neck back and then relax and come back to your knees. Now inhale and take your arms back to your and exhale. Extend your neck back. Stay there for some time. If you can hold your ankles, yes, you can do that. Now, one by one, bring your hands ahead and from this posture, go to child pose. Make sure that after this posture, you practice child pose and relax. Now the next pose is bow pose or dhanurasana. Lie down flat in your tummy. Hold your ankles with your hands. Inhale while raising your hips and chest. At the same time, arch your spine. Now keep on breathing. Extend your neck up. Hold this posture as much as you can. And then relax, release your ankles, exhale and relax. Now the last asana is Halasana Salamb Sarvang Asana. Lie down flat on your back. Now lift your feet up, exhale and take it back. Take help of your hand. Now Join both your hands together, keep on breathing and stay in this posture for some time. For Salamba Sarvangasana, from floor pose we will go to shoulder stand pose. Bring your palms behind your back just below your hip. Take help and support of your hands and one by one bring your feet up straight in 90 degree angle stay there for some time if you feel uncomfortable you can stop at any point of time Jabbi aapko lage ki you cannot do it please stop right there and if your body is not yet prepared for this posture don't attempt it now yet again you can go back to plop posture Halasana mein aap ja sakte hain, apne dono haato ko join kare, keep on breathing whenever you are performing any exercise, do not forget to breathe.
Now taking support from your hand, slowly bring your hip down and lie down in Shavasana and relax. Practice these asanas regularly along with proper diet and see the difference. If you have watched so far, do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.